So now in this part, you want to talk about five different methods in order to pass different colors to Matplotlib. And if you remember from previous part, we have talked about how to plot a chart like this. But in order to review that, we have defined our X and Y coordinates. We have plotted our chart. We have defined X label, Y label, and title. And we have shown our chart. So the first method is to use the named colors of Matplotlib. And you can search this term in the Google. And you can find a picture like this, which you can find different colors. Suppose that, for example, I want to choose a deep pink in this color list. So in order to do so, I go to PyCharm. And for example, suppose that for the marker face color, I want to choose a deep pink. So if I run the code, you can see here is the result. So as a matter of fact, this is the first method, which is to use the named colors. And the second method is to use the RGB color. And for example, if you search for this term, color picker in the Google, you can find something like this. And you can choose whatever color you want. So for example, suppose that I want to choose this color. That's it. And you can see that here we have an RGB color code. So let's copy that. So I want to copy this RGB color code. And in Python, in order to pass those values, so suppose that, for example, I want to change the marker face color and I want to pass RGB color code. So in order to do so, inside a tuple, inside a tuple, I should pass those numbers. But remember that if I run the code in this way, I will get error because it says that all the numbers should be between zero and one. So in order to do so, I should divide each value by 255, which is the maximum value for each color. So that's it. So now, once again, if I run the code, you can see here is the output and it works properly. And the third method is to use the hex color code. So for example, suppose that I want to choose this color and you can see that the hex code, the hex code for this is this one. So let's copy that. So here in Python, I can pass that hex color. So inside a string, I can pass that hex color. So if I run the code, you can see here is the output. But now let's talk about method number four, which is the grayscale method. And remember that in the grayscale method, you should pass a number in a string. Remember that it should be a string. So for example, if you pass zero, it means completely black. And for example, if you pass one, it means completely white. And for example, if you pass, for example, 0 0.5 means something in the middle, I mean gray. And for example, if you pass, for example, 0 0.25, it means gray, but it is more darkish. So if I run the code again, you can see here is the output. So as you can see, the fourth method is the grayscale method, you can, which you can pass a number between 0 and 1. But remember that you should pass that number in a string format. But now let's talk about the last format, which is the color cycle format. And as you can see in this picture, Matplotlib has 10 cycles, C0 all the way up to C9. And also you should remember that the default color format for Matplotlib is this format. And for example, if you have three charts, the first one would be this color, the second one would be this color, and the third one would be this color. So this is the color cycle of Matplotlib. And maybe you ask, what if we have 11 charts? Because for example, C0 all the way up to C9 is 10 colors. But for example, maybe you ask, what if we have, for example, 11 charts? So if you have 11 charts, then Matplotlib is going to start from the beginning. So for example, it is going. if you have, for example, 10 charts, then it is going to use these colors. And for example, if you add another chart, I mean uh, chart number 11, then it is going to loop through and start from the beginning. So the 11th uh, chart would be this color. And you can pass these cycles manually. For example, if you pass C0, and if you run the code, you can see you're going to use uh, this color cycle. And if I, for example, pass C5, and if I run the code, you can see we are using this color and etc. So here is a question. As you can see here, we have C0 all the way up to C9, so it is 10 cycles. So what if, for example, we pass, for example, C10, which is not in this cycle? So if you pass C10, because it is not in this cycle, it is going to use from the beginning. So we can see that we don't have any C10 in Matplotlib. So it is going to start from the beginning. So C10 is exactly the same as C0. So if I run the code, 
you can see here is the output. And with induction, you can say that, for example, C11, passing C11 is equivalent to passing C1. And for example, passing C12 is equivalent to C2 and etc. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.